What is up there, guys? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. How stupid is this? Spared Circle Uncensored here. We're back this week on another toy hunt. We're here at Target. Let's get into the store and see what they got. I know some legends are hitting. Obviously, Walmart's always got some new things going up. Guys, don't forget to watch our uh, ToyCon New Jersey 2024 video that we just posted earlier in the week. Also, check out our reviews as well. We have a lot of great figure reviews online. We're here. We're gonna do the twirl every time, baby. Let's go into Target and see what they got. All right, guys, we are here in the figure aisle. Let's see what they got. Here's a ricochet. But making the first turn. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. We got the uh, the new Greatest Hits Legend series, Ultimate War. That's the first time seeing him in the wild. We got the tugboat. We got the warlord, and we got IRS. So, Booker T is the only one missing here. But first time seeing the Warrior in the wild. We are Warrior collectors here. However, we have a ton of this figure, so we will not be getting it. I do like the new face sculpt on the tugboat. He looks great. Let's see if we can get a zoom in there. Oh my God, guys. There we go. Sorry, my new phone does not want to zoom. I have to look at the settings. But his paint, his paint has been terrible on this figure. Um... Yeah, so I think we're gonna pass on that one because I have not found one with good paint. Here is some of the anime stuff. Uh, not much here, guys. I mean, gosh, they look cleaned out. There's the Lucha Lobe Rider right there, Sabine Wren. These things, again, they're, they'll be clearanced out. These, this stuff, I don't understand why it was produced Hasbro. Gotta start firing people, man. I don't know, or something. I, I don't wanna say firing people, but these, that, that Star Wars line is bad. This is cool, I love this Casey. I'm not going to get him, but he does look cool. We got Tila there. We do have Leech. What else do we have? We have more Street Sharks, guys. I mean, man, these... I guess they sell, though. I mean, I guess they keep restocking and they keep selling them. That's it for Turtles, guys. Not much on here. Not much new for Turtles that I see off the cuff. I guess Mondo. I haven't. We haven't seen Mondo. Maybe a couple times there's a Splinter. Let's go look at uh, the end cap. Exactly. I don't know if any of these are new. Like the hangout house, right? <laughs> Let's look at the end cap display here. <laughs> I can't really. There's a, for some reason, on a Monday morning, there's a lot of people in this store. I, I came out a little later than I should have. I should have got here at 8, 9. I like to avoid the people. There's 15% off Transformers tours. I don't know when this ends. When does this end? Uh, 9.21. 921 in Idleland. 15% off all Transformers toys. It looks, this thing they gotta fix, man. This is bad. I mean, this thing, look at this thing. It's just hanging here. Got a bunch of Metallos again. They ain't selling. Nobody wants that. There's not much here, guys. I think this is gonna be the week of uh, where we uh, we strike out. We don't, I don't, I just don't think there's gonna be a lot here. I, I really don't. I had a feeling. I had a feeling when I was coming to this store. I was like, why am I even going to this store? But I have a feeling that this is the week. Um, and we're not going to find much. Um, let's over. <laughs> let's see if they have that turtles end cap. Hold on. Let's, let's see what else this woman was blocking us. Fifteen percent off Transformers. There's a bunch of big card here. Let's see if they have that turtles end cap around the corner here. They're stocking, but not much here, guys. Not much here. Let's see. No, the turtles are still here. They're starting to sell. They're starting to sell. Looks like the... Got the sketches still here. Got a Mondo. Great fig. Check that out. We did a uh, review of that figure just recently on the channel. So check out the Mondo review. And then again, the sketch turtles. Oh, man, you have three of the four. I don't know why one somebody would only buy one. I guess they only needed one. But all right, let's head over to uh, okay, Neca over at Neca Funko. Here's a they got. Oh, we got we got the new Beetlejuice here. I don't know if there's anything you guys need, you Funko guys. There you go, just a quick scan. 
to the front row. I don't see any chases out here. This Princess Leia. <laughs> Comment below if you're looking for any Funko. Here's the Beetlejuice I was talking about. It looks like these are not selling well. I did come here and didn't record, and these were here the last time I was here, and they're still here. Again, they are the pretty much the non-articulated Beetlejuices, so I think that's why they're not selling. I don't like what NECA did with this display either. Very terrible. That's a terrible, <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. I, I don't like it. It looks terrible on the on the card. Um, shit, I don't even know. Here we go. I, that just looks terrible. I'm sorry. I I just want to be honest, guys. You know, when I see things, I'm going to be honest, and it just doesn't look good. So, and then obviously with the limited articulation, I just don't think they're going to sell. It looks like somebody must have been here photographing when I see things like that. I don't know why you would be photographing the Sindra Patrol and Hudson, but I guess somebody was here doing some fig hunting. There is one area here as well we'll take a look at. Hmm, looks like they did have a punk turtles hidden. Got some punk turtles here. Didn't see that the last time. And that's about it, guys. Nothing at this, uh, nothing at this Target. A bunch of Gokus anime fans uh, again these got these target exclusive gundams are here still nobody bought them so that's it guys uh that's all we got here we're gonna head over to the another store probably a yeah, walmart i just want to come back and give you a a video of the tcg sports card section show you what they got i got the trick-or-treat boosters because it does, does look like they did a semi restock here into the Inklands. There's some magic. There's some Star Wars Tops Chrome. Arcana Shimmering Skies. They got these as well, the Palladium Fates. Booster Bundles. Tennis, Tops Chrome Tennis. Prism WWE. We're not gonna get any of this stuff, but I did wanna show y'all. And then here's the locked up cabinet. Soccer contenders, tops chrome. All right, guys, we'll we'll see you at the next door again. We're gonna probably back at it. Here's blowing in the wind. Here we're at Wally World, looking for those Monday Night Wars figures. We're here at Wally World. We're gonna get in here and see what they got. I'm still looking for Tatsu too. I saw one at Toy Con New Jersey this past weekend, but you know what? We're gonna try to find it in the wild or at the next store. And let's get into the Walmart. Guys, so. here we are at Walmart. I don't even know why I even film this NECA Funko section. I I guess they kind of restocked this. I don't know. I, I guess so, because this Superman wasn't here. So this is the Superman with the Eagle, uh, our world's at war, the Atom. They have the Green Lantern there. Um, some Mego It's for Halloween. Yeah, uh, here's... Here's one too. Oh, there's a Platinum Edition Spawn. Ooh, look at that. I wonder how much that is. That's a cool figure. Let's get this out of here. We like Platinum, platinum Editions, guys. This is a nice Spawn. This is a nice looking one. This is cool. Platinum Edition Spawn. I haven't seen one of these in the wild yet. That looks cool. Original drawing from 77. I don't know, maybe we'll take this one. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I want to see how much it is. If it's like 40 bucks, I'm not going to take it. But we'll see. Stitch. Flocked vinyl figure. I don't know what that is. Dinosaurs. A lot of Stitch here. Barbie. For you pops. Pops guys and gals out there. That's about it. That's a cool find. I mean, it is in the blue attire. Here, let's go look over to clearance. I haven't been to clearance in a while. I think they still have the same old, same old though. Here we go, E.T. is still $34. It's not clearance, guys. Got some games, I guess. Aragon, 17 bucks. Oh, he's gonna buy that stuff for $17. Even these, $20, no thank you. Here's a couple uh, Power Ranger, there you go. Super 7 Reaction, 
not much there. We'll walk over to the toys now and see what they got. Um, we'll keep we'll keep the video on. Again, this toy section at this Walmart is pretty close. Now let's go over here real quick to the anime. Don't see anything new in the anime stuff here. Here's the horror section. Not much new here, unfortunately. Sometimes they have clearance around the corner too. Oh, here we go. Here's the Netflix display. Not much new at the Netflix display either. Some Stranger Things stuff, lithos and stuff, plushies. Not much though. Not much here, guys. Yeah, sometimes they have, see, they have, they have more clearance here. Here's Reva's, <laughs> Reva, whatever the hell. A couple clearance items here. I, I told you, they have them all over the place. I don't know what this is, Squid Game. I, don't, I have no idea. Now let's get over to toys. It's right around the corner, so we're not gonna cut the video. No reason to cut the video if we're right around the corner. This is our local Walmart. It's a cool spawn. I like the spawn. Not much there. Let's see what they got. Let's see if they have any new wrestling. Here's a bunch of Bartman. Bartman. Simpsons. Plushies. Mr. Beast Lab. Wally Town Down Action. Gojitsus. Doesn't look like they restocked, guys. We were here in our last Toy Hunt video and they had restocked with 110. It looks like it all sold, but nothing in yet. Alright. Well, as I say, you win some, you lose some. Here's some Mr. Beast Lab. For anybody that's interested, let's see what else they got here. Uh, a ton of Pokemon. Here's some more haunted hoops, randomly in the Pokemon section. Here's some Pokemon. Make sure I pause for you guys. Here's some Rainbow Friends. That's cool. Wow, Sonic Trooper the Grim. Sonic Prime. Haven't seen that yet. That's cool. Looks like they only have one of them there. Now here's some more Sonic too. And that, that seems like a Netflix series. Cause it's different, different carding than anything else here. I don't know if you guys are looking for any of the Sonic stuff even up there. That's new, I haven't seen that. Oh, here we go, Sonic Prime. Yeah, here we go, Netflix. I guess this is new. Uh, I haven't seen these yet. Knuckles, it's like the Trooper, Baton Rouge, Knuck, Knuckles, Nux, whatever they're calling him. I guess they're called Nux. Got Sonic here. Oh, they look all right. And another Nux, Sonic, Sonic. And then again, if we move around here, I'm sorry. I guess they do have a trooper, so it doesn't look like they have the girl. Now let's let's continue. The awful Star Wars section here. The awful Star Wars section. Garbage. Nothing ever here. Just awful. Here's a Green Arrow. Digital McFarlane. Man, this this place has got nothing. It's pretty sad, guys. Nothing. I got cleaned out and not restocked, it looks like. Cleaned out and not restocked. Saw that Walmart exclusive Venom figure, which was really cool. Still have the Iron Man stuff here. Who knows when they would get, we'll get something like that in. But we saw that at Toy Con. We may pick that up. There's some more Tootin' Tots. Had fun with those last time, last week on the video. Despicable Me 4. Who's this? Mutations Mix and Match? Mm. We're not gonna go through the mutations or anything like that. Here's some more Transformers stuff. Godzilla. Transformers is stacked right now, wow. I think they just took everything off of that, that end cap display or whatever you wanna call it and they just shoved it here. It looks like all the ones stuff. Mr. Beast Lab. And that's it, guys.
I don't see much else. Bluey pop-ups, go glam, a lot of kids' toys, it looks like. Not much else here. All right, we're gonna head over to clearance real quick. All right, everybody, right. we're back on the hunt. We're actually at the same location we were at yesterday. So we are at Target. Again, I do compilation videos, guys, for my toy hunt, so I can't go out just in one day because I don't have the time. So I kind of hit up stores, you know, throughout the week. So we're here at the Bullseye Target and we got to find those thundercats and there are four on the way here so let's let's go let's get her to figure out uh, not much uh, no thundercats yet um trying to look uh, for thundercats and but we found these legends iron fist and luke cage a bunch of those two packs there um oh they got more of these gi joes too this guy looks cool i do like his duster on here and then obviously the I don't know. I don't know if I need this action soldier, though. I don't know. And he's looking in the back to see if he's got anything else real quick. So I'm going to pop out real quick and let's see what they got here. Um, here's the Transformers. And uh, I think we'll go from there, guys. Again, we got to pop out and he's stocking stuff. He's going to check in the back for us real quick to see what they got. There are no Thundercats at this location, but uh, I think we're going to get them by the end of the week. So we'll be right back with you. Uh, my associate is in the back and... Uh, We'll see, maybe new, some new wrestling. We did find the new Turtles of Grayskull wave, thanks to our friendly associate here. That is pretty cool. We got the Hordak, the Stealth Ninja Leonardo, the Stealth Ninja He-Man, and then the April Neil, which looks really awesome. And then we also found the Piccolo here for SH Figure Arts, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I think I think we may pick up this wave. They're on punch, case fresh. Uh, looks fun. So, uh, guys, we'll, we'll we'll see on the flip side. Um, we're probably going to go to one more location right, today. We were at Walmart. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, we found at Target that um, those Turtles of Grayskull figures. I picked up an April. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll get just April Splinter, the Turtles. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we are at Wally World. We are looking for these... Um, Monday Night Wars figure, so let's right, get in here. We are down the figure aisle at Walmart. Here's what we got at Transformers. This is the half locked up Walmart again. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, we got scrap heap, junk in scrap heap here. How much else, guys? Some King Kong and Godzilla. Despicable Me Me 4. Turtles, Rocksteady I see there, there's a Rocksteady, there's the Tootin' Tots, like those Tootin' Tots, you fart. Check out our other toy video, you'll see we played around with those a little bit, that was fun. Oh, not much else it looks like here, I guess they got these Avengers... I don't know, some kids toys, the metal figures. Oh, here we go. We got something new here. Gold label, Batman Platinum Edition, Batman Beyond. We're gonna take that home, I think, today. That's cool. So the box is a little beat up on it. But it is a Platinum, Platinum Edition Batman. So we're gonna take that home. Oh, wow, a Platinum Ed a Flash Platinum Edition as well. So that, this is, this is cool. This will be good for our toy show. Um, I have not seen them in the wild yet, so we'll take that. What is up there, guys? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. How stupid is this? You stocked Star Wars there because you didn't open the case because maybe you couldn't because you were stocking shelves. <laughs> this is the most stupid thing I've ever seen in my life, again. Absolutely nothing in here. A um, bunch of canes. Just nothing in here, guys. I, I I thought we were gonna find some more. I mean, this is a good find. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Platinum Edition Batman Beyond. That's that's a that's a score for us. Um, what's up here? I think this is Star Wars, guys. I think this is Acolyte stuff. Let's see what we got. I believe this. Yeah, this is all Acolyte. Look at this. Nobody wants this garbage. And it's supposed to be locked away. Nobody wants that. This is all acolyte up here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch it. But it's a good score, guys. I mean, I, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, Platinum edition. 
It looks sealed. Yeah, it looks sealed. It's just a little beat up the box. Batman Beyond, Batman, gold label, platinum edition. I don't know what is the difference between the platinum and the regular. I haven't, I, again, I have not seen this in, in the wild yet. I've seen that. I have not seen this, so that's a good find right there. We'll take it. We'll, we will take it. We'll head over to the NECA Funko section real quick. It's not a big one here. Here's Hot, Hot Wheels, just an FYI, if anybody was looking for anything. I, again, I don't do much Hot Wheels, but I'll show you guys what they have. Just, just a quick skim here. I don't know. I know there's an Optimus Prime that's hitting. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Remember, buddy Frank had it at the the toy show, ToyCon New Jersey. Check out our ToyCon New Jersey post as well. Let's see the M caps here. Not much on the end caps. Check out our ToyCon New Jersey post. Um, that was a fun toy hunt. Got some Lego Marvel here. And uh, all right, we're gonna head to NECA Funko. Here we go. We'll see we're at the uh, <laughs> the poultry NECA Funko section here. Not much at all some plushies again this is a very small neck of Funko section and they very rarely have anything at this location um we'll, we'll keep looking no we'll keep looking i'm surprised that they just don't have anything neck of Funko at the store again i think somebody in the back takes it i really do it's just it just doesn't make sense for them to not have basically anything from neck you know Here's some um, anime horror. Let's pop around to the clearance aisle. Because there's nothing here on the end caps. Let's see what they got clearance wise. But like I said, guys, it's it's a it's a situation where somebody's gotta be taking the stuff. I mean Unless this store just doesn't get sent a lot of NECA Funko, nothing in clearance either. All right, so I guess we're gonna end with the Batman and Beyond. I think that's, at least today, we're, we're not gonna go anywhere else. I don't see anything else here. So let's get out of here. Let's pay for this bad boy. And uh, we'll see right, you soon. We'll, see <laughs> well, we are back at the same target. I think these Thundercats are hitting today. If not today, tomorrow. Can't wait to get these Thundercats. Again, we're looking for two things at Target. We're looking for the Thundercats, uh, the Deluxe. There we go. Bam, the bullseye. Let's hit the bullseye today, baby. We need to hit the bullseye. Um, we're looking for the Thundercats and then Walmart, the Monday Night Wars figures. We're also looking for Tatsu. We'll never find that in Walmart. Uh, but let's see, let's see, let's get in here and let's hope they have it. Alright guys, we are here at the figure aisle. I don't expect anything to be out here. These piccolos from yesterday are gone almost. So people like seeing those on the shelf. But I don't think there'll be anything out per se. So we're gonna have to check the back room. Mutations. We got some mutations here for turtles. I don't know if we saw that yesterday. They probably were there and we didn't see it. But I don't see anything out. Don't see anybody around either. It's not a good sign. Up oh, here's a Robin Tim Drake. We haven't seen that one yet. Again, crazy. I guess these are on sale for ten bucks. They've been popping up three other places. Again, we saw that yesterday. All right, again, this is gonna be on a new mod, guys. So I think the situation is, let's find an associate. Let's see what they got in the back and we'll kind of go from there. If they had Ray, I would probably get one. Again, we have these the originals, but for 1049, we're not gonna go that route. So let's uh, let's ask an so associate. These are street dated October 1st. I thought they were, but it was coming up in the system that they weren't. So we'll just be back on October 1st. I don't see the need to kind of come here like earlier or anything. Um, and if it's, I don't know how people are getting these in hand if they're register lock street dated. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but I guess people got them. I don't know how they did it, but they did, and we'll go from there. Um, I do see the TCG section over here is restocked, so I'm going to give you another photo of what's going on here on TCG. Because it looks like they did a little bit of a restock, and then we're going to get out of the store. I think we're going to go to one more Target, and then possibly a 
Walmart? I don't know. We'll All right, guys, so they did restock the TCG section here. Uh, they got some Stellar Crown in for Pokemon, as long as well as the Shrouded Fable stuff, but those are the ETBs there. I just want to show you this. I don't think that this was... This, all this stuff was here the other day. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> I'm forgetting the days. <laughs> they got a lot of top scrum tennis, Star Wars, Prism WWE, Sports Kings. Oh, yeah, see, Topps Chrome came in. So it did, these did come in. Oh, we'll pick some of these up, maybe. Uh, we're looking for those Wembys. So the Basketball Chrome finally came in. So they did do a little slight, slight restock here. Um, Topps Chrome Baseball, some more WWE. Oh, they got Topps Composite, too. Maybe we'll get a few of those. I know they're looking for Strouds there. Um, I very rarely buy Blasters, but maybe we'll get that as well. Maybe we'll get one or two of those and... You know, it's like a Chronicles set and then a couple of these. And we'll call it a day here. So uh, we'll flip it around and we'll head to Walmart. All right, guys, we're out of Target here. Another one. Let's see what they got. Again, I think that Thundercats is going to be street dated for the first. It's a little rainy here today. It's not terrible, though. So there's the bullseye. Let's do our twirl, as we call it. Let's get in here and see what they got. And uh, Hopefully we get to the big aisle and we find some surprises. Hey guys, this is that newer Target I've been talking about. And uh, here's the mutations. Here's the end cap display. Still got a ton of these guys. Oh man, I can't wait till these go on clearance. That's gonna be good. Hopefully they go on clearance. Here is the TCG section here. For all of you that are interested. They do have some stel Stellar Crown. I think those are the new ones. Temporal Forces, Paradox Rift. Trick or Treat stuff. Let's get around to the toy aisle here. Here is your Chaos Theory Jurassic World. We don't do a lot of this line, so we don't know. Love those Tyrannos. I mean, if this goes on sale, I'll probably pick one of these up. I mean, those are cool. Here are some turtles. Here's mutant tots, mini mutant tots, blind bags. Man of War, Revolution. Let's see what we got here. Nothing much else here, guys. The then cap display is done. Main event series 149. We've seen that many times before. A ton of big bubbles. No new Star Wars. Hera. All this garbage. There's a Grogu that'll be on clearance soon. Here is Baxter, Mondo, and Ray. This is new. The Man of War. I haven't seen that one yet. Doesn't look like, I guess these mutations are kind of new. I think these guys are. Looks like they got a full set of these guys. So not much here. Not much here, guys. All right, they got these. The Rookie and Mr. Bloom. So this is not looking like a good hunt so far this week, but we'll see. I mean, we're going to find some stuff. I think next week's going to be a little better. Here's the Transformers display. I haven't been finding much. More Doomsdays. Here's some of the tripwire and roadblock. <laughs> There's a Bart. The Iron Man statue. Yeah, not much here, guys. I don't see much here, unfortunately. Vegeta, some Goku's, Vegeta's, I say figure art stuff. These look great, guys. I mean, I'm telling you, they're, they're fun. I used to love, love Dragon Ball. They look really good. They're tempting, but I can't get, I can't get into that. Mr. Beast Lab. Give you a brief overview of what they got here. 
There we go. Here's the new Sonic series. Sonic Prime. There is Baton Rouge. We, this is the one we did not find at um, Walmart. They have a full set here. Here's the Transformers end cap display. Not much there. Oh, there's an Optimus. Here's a Power of the Primes Optimus. A couple of them actually. Man, these boxes are beat up. Only two. But man, these boxes are beat up. This is a great Optimus. Seth, if you're watching, get that freaking Optimus. I even messaged you. <laughs> I love it. The Fallen. Haven't seen that one yet. So it looks like they did have a little bit of a Transformers restock. Let's go behind here. Sometimes behind these aisles they have end caps with Funko and NECA and stuff. This is a newer store, so they don't actively have a lot out. Here we go. There's some Funko. If anybody needs any of this stuff. Limited edition Harry Potter, Count Orlock, Moff Gideon. There's a Batman. I don't know. That's cool. Art series Batman. Interesting. Again, guys, I don't know much about Pops. I know uh, our friend Pastrami Popowitz. I believe that's his name. I hope I didn't say that incorrect. He's been watching, so maybe Pastrami can comment below if we missed a, a good one there. Uh, here's the doldrums of Star Wars. Not much here. And here are some blind boxes. Nothing really that we are looking for here either. And that looks to be it, guys. Um, I'll go over to TCG and whatnot, and we'll see if they have anything there, but not much here. There's a Lurkana. Not much here for us. So uh, we'll head over to TCG Sports so, Cards. Sports Cards, TCG. There's some Pokemon here. Blind boxes. Here is some Topps Chrome Blasters they got here at this place. Here you go, some Metal Avengers from Skybox. Upper Deck. So looks like they did a little bit of a restock here. You got Marvel Beginnings. Some Lurkana. One Piece. Again, I'm just going through this real quick. I got do about the Chrome Blasters. We got some of the hangers. I like the hangers a little better. Five Nights at Freddy. Digimon. So a little bit different stock at this target. It's Pokemon, Magic, Lakana. I think the Ghostbusters magic stuff's coming out soon. I did see something about that. More Pokemon. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Let's right, hit guys, the Walmart. We are back at Walmart here. Let's see if they have any Monday Night Wars figures. We'll check in. Might as well see what they got at this location. We're at Wally World. Again, this hunt has been eh, this week. We'll see. We're going to find some stuff. Let's guys, go. We are let's here it. approaching the figure aisle. You know, I, I did say the, the hunt this week was kind of blah, but it has been okay. It hasn't been terrible. Hot Wheels. I'm trying to look for those Optimus Primes. I don't see any here. I don't see any Optimus Primes here. It hasn't been terrible, guys. I, You know, we did find those new Turtles of Grayskull figures. Got the Transformers, Metal Figs. So that was a positive. And we also found, what did we find? We found that Batman Beyond figure as well. So not, not, ter not terrible, not the best though. There's more Iron Man's. Man, I can't believe they restocked this wave. I don't know why they restocked that wave. I'm just baffled by Walmart and oh, they're just stock choices and here we go. Here's some Micro Galaxy Squadron Armada Edition. Here's the here's the new series. Look at this. I haven't seen these yet. 
desert skiff. This is the Return of the Jedi 40th edition. Hmm, interesting. Series 5? What else do they have here? Mace Windows Jedi. This is Series 5. This looks to be new. Resistance A-Wing. I have some Series 5 pieces here. Another Mace Windu. I don't know if there, there's any chases in here. We'll check. Launch Edition. Man, Series 1. Don't see any chases. Don't think so. Doesn't look like. Doesn't look to be any chases. Just the skiff. There's that uh, R2-D2 sitting around still. Oh, geez. Where'd this come from? Is this new, guys? Comment below. This box looks pretty beat up. Bruce Banner. Oh, where did that come from? So again, we're finding things, but not what we're looking for, not what we want. Those will be clearance out. We're not going to talk about Star Wars anymore because we don't want to be too negative. No WWE here, guys. Wow, no Ultimate Editions. No Elites. Bunch of Basics. Superstars Hogan's. It just doesn't look like these guys restocked this WWE section. I don't know. What is this? <laughs> I guess there's an expo? Collectibles expo? Sports cards and memorabilia, Central New Jersey, collectibles, classic. I don't know. They left stuff here. That's probably why there's no figures here. <laughs> Whoever left those are probably taking them all on us. Oh man, here's Among Us, Rainbow Friends. I'll tell you, that's that's what's going on here at this store. That's definitely what's going on. Who's ever who's ever dropping those there are taking the toys, guys. That's about it. Not much here, guys. Let's go over to Funko Neca again. This store doesn't have the best Funko Neca section. We'll Alright guys, we're at the small little itty bitty Funko Neca section here at this store. Man, they just don't have anything here. Turtles, the Halloween, some of the digital McFarlane stuff. Batwing, here's some pops for you pops collectors out there. Don't see any chases. I just don't see anything, guys. Minecraft. We'll go around the other way and we'll see if there's anything we'll pop back on here if there is. But, man, another dud, guys. We are not going to head to another store this week we found some great items we'll be back in the studio on the flip side of this camera unfortunately i found my way into an infinity pool which oh there's the beautiful woman right there that overlooks new york city look at that beautiful woman you know who that is or here i don't know i can't get my fingers right but right there right there and we couldn't go fake hunting for the rest of the week so we're going to be in the studio. We'll see you next week. We'll get out of the infinity pool. We'll get our sneakers back on. We'll get down and dirty like we always do. So we'll see you soon. All right, everybody. We're back in the studio with this week's haul. Guys, we're super excited to be here because we had, albeit a eh, slightly less than exciting hunt this week i mean we found a few things we were looking for but those monday night wars figures man i cannot find them at any walmart locations at least here in new jersey comment below if you found them anywhere else i know a few people in florida have hit them up and stuff like that but they're tough to find guys they i don't know i don't know what the production is like on these things but they're not showing up around here or if they are the scalpers are getting them so with that said, we're also looking for that Thundercats Lionel Deluxe figure by Super 7. To my knowledge, it looks like that it has a register lock and a street date on it. They just put the street date on for October 1st. So check back to the channel soon on our next toy hunt. Possibly next week, we may be able to get it if it's not register locked. It most likely is going to be now. I think they changed it in the system. And I think it's also on uh for their full display i don't know if it's a geek out display or something like that but from what i understand my associates have told me that the display gets set around the sixth and then the um yeah the the figures will will be out then or before hopefully but they should have them in stores but they are street dated for october 1st so 
With all that said, guys, let's get into this week's haul. So there are some things here that obviously I did get via mail uh, that I wanted to show some retro pieces because like I needed them for the collection and they were available. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me pick them up. I was able to pick them up. But to start first, let's go over what we found on the haul this week. Tops Chrome, never find hangers. So we're going to go Wemby hunting here. Uh, they have the NBA uh, Players Association rights now, I believe in 2026, if not before, they're going to have the NBA rights too. So Tops is coming back with NBA and basketball. We'll go Wemby hunting. He looks to be the real deal. Had a great year last year. Let's see what happens this year. But we'll go Wemby hunting. We'll open this on the channel as well, just to see. We opened one box already. We'll show you what we got in that one. And we'll do a standalone video with that as well. Our first Walmart, or one of our first Walmarts we went to, we did find the Platinum Edition Spawn figure, which is really cool. I love this because this is based on, I believe, the concept art. Um, and it's great because you have the regular version, and then they did a Platinum. Uh, so this is the original drawing from 77. Uh, to be honest, guys, I was going to sell this, but I think I'm going to keep it in the collection. I love the figure. Every time I look at it, it looks great. I don't have much spawn either. So this could be like the definitive spawn for me. I love the original drawing. The figure looks great. I love the colorway on it, too. I love the I don't know if these are glow, glow in the dark GID pieces, but they look great. So we're going to probably keep this one in the collection for now. Looks great. I love the packaging, too. I think McFarlane's doing some great stuff, guys. I, I really do. He's releasing like a crazy person because that's what he does. And uh, Todd's doing a great job. So we love to support his his work on the channel here. Uh, and yeah, so I'm probably going to keep that one. Next, we found, by surprise, a Batman Beyond. I, I mean, geez, I was not into this uh, cartoon. I was not into this cartoon when I was a kid, but the figure looks so cool and I just couldn't pass it up. The packaging looks great. It's a little bent up atop here, a little smashing here, but it is a platinum edition. I did not, I've not seen the regular edition, so I don't know the difference. Comment below to let me know what the difference is. Is the colorway? Is it the accessories you get? I may have this for sale at our toy show. So our toy show is back. If you are in the New Jersey area, it's going to be at the APA Hotel in Isla, New Jersey on September 29th. That's Sunday, September 29th, guys and gals. You're going to want to be there. I will be vending and I'll have some great pieces available for you all. So this may this may go there. We'll, we'll see. But because I'm not a big Batman Beyond guy, so I think we're going to leave it there. And then I got two retro pieces in the mail, guys. Uh, so to start, I'm going to show you this Bob. We needed Bob uh, the Joker's goon. I tried to flatten the card out. It's a little bit wavy. I, I did the best I could, I think, for now. I'm going to also put in a, this in a protector to try to flatten it out as well. Uh, but it looked great. Clear bubble. I mean, look at him. He looks great on here. He looks super good. It, it looks great. The card, even regardless of it being a little crease, looks great. I'm going to put this into the Batman collection room. If you haven't watched it yet, check out our collection room tour part one. Part two will post next week. And then we have two other rooms. I have like a Batman comic TV centric room. And then I have a G.I. Joe and TMNT room. So you're not going to want to miss out, guys. We got a lot of collection tours left to go. Again, the wrestling part two of our main Big office will be posting next week. This will go in my Batman room, which you will see shortly after that. And then last but not least, I love Bob the Joker's going. It's he's amazing. Oh, and news, Mezco, uh, Mezco just dropped today a pre-order for these original three: the Joker, Batman, and Bob the Joker's goon re-releases so they're going to do them in mezco i think they're they're five points of articulation line and they're going to have the retro cards like the toy biz and they look great so i can't wait to get them i'm going to pre-order them today this video may post tomorrow if i have time so get on that pre-order if you love batman if you love the original 89 batman movie i think those are going to look great they already do I, i've seen the preview images and Get those on Mezco. Everything will be in the link to the description below as well. And then we finally got them. 
I believe this is called Glowbones Tyco Pocket Powers, Sega Tyco Pocket Powers. I've got a complete Glowbones. I had to get it. I could not actually pass this up because the price was so good and it was so minty, guys. I mean, this is like almost like it just came out of the um, the packaging. There's a little ding here and there, but overall, I, I couldn't be happier with this. This is a piece that I grew up with. I loved the Sega Tyco Pocket Powers line. I had a bunch of them growing up as kids. We used to put them in our pockets and play with them. And they had little guns and little cars and all this fun stuff, planes. And But this was my favorite guy growing up as a kid. He glows in the dark. I had him. I finally have him in my retro collection. It's a very small piece, as you can see, but I'm super excited to, to add him to that retro display you saw in the collection to our room, especially that 80s section that I have. And that's it. That was it. That's our haul for the week, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed our toy hunt video this week. We have we post them every week, every Friday. Maybe this will go Saturday. I'm not sure again. This is a busy week because it was my wife's uh, B-Day this week. So B-Day weekend, kind of slower and getting uh, content out there. We pumped you. Uh, we, we actually posted a lot of content in the beginning of the week. Hopefully next week we go back to our normal schedule. But thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget, like comment share subscribe we're squared circle on and censored i'm sqd will here thank you so much for everybody that's been watching our videos liking our videos commenting our videos we'll be back next week for another toy hunt